<laughs> Welcome back. It is the love story everyone knows, Romeo and Juliet. And now it's set to beautiful opera music. Toledo Opera Executive Director, San Rourke, and Evan Fleming, baritone resident artist, joins us this morning with the retelling of this story. Good morning. Thanks Good for being morning. here. Good morning. Thanks for having us back. Absolutely. And first of all, congratulations, because I hear you're retiring. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, I've been at the opera since 2001. And wow. executive director since... 2011 and mm -hmm. it's been a great ride but mm -hmm. I'm moving on and letting others take the reins which mm -hmm. will be all new fresh blood it will be great for the company and you get to rest a little bit hopefully yes. <laughs> I have grandchildren to visit <laughs> yes exactly enjoy it so this story of course Romeo and Juliet I, I think pretty much everybody knows this love story and what a good time of year to do this uh, talk us through how you set this to opera Sure. So um, Charles Gounod uh, set this fam very, very famous Shakespeare text. Um, he, he changed it just slightly and uh, set it to beautiful, beautiful French romantic music. And uh, yeah, it, it creates quite a, a wonderful picture of the two young lovers and their, uh, their journey toward a uh, very dark and inevitable end. I was going to say he didn't change the ending. No, of course not. <laughs> I just think because everyone knows the ending, yes. you don't have to be thinking about the end right. and you can enjoy the music, which yes. is one of my favorite Phenomenal. scores. It is really beautiful music. Mm -hmm. And it's a great time of year to hear this, this beautiful love story. Uh, how has have preparations gone? Uh, how long have you all been working on this? Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure the artists have been working a long time, but we they've all been here for two weeks mm -hmm. in rehearsals at the Valentine or in our offices. And we're now in the theater on the stage and the it's going to have um, digital projected sets. Um, and that will be all set up in the next week, mm -hmm. and then we go on. Um, it's a, it'll be wonderful. Tickets are selling well. If you want mm -hmm. to come, buy your ticket now. We'd like it to sell out, and I think it could. Absolutely could, so hurry up and get on that. Uh, French, you said. Mm -hmm. So will we have subtitles, or, or do we just know this story? We don't need them. Well, uh, well that would be a good debate. I suppose, in a way, <laughs> we don't need them. But nonetheless, mm -hmm. yeah, over the stage uh, will be the English translations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. And you know, people probably don't realize this, we update those too. We've updated in the last two years every translation that we've had, because we have done a Romeo and Juliet three times since I've been here. But the way we listen and speak English now has changed, mm -hmm. and so the translations need to be changed too. They're still accurate, they're still following the libretto, you mm -hmm. know, the words, but uh yeah. <laughs> and how do you prepare for something like this? I imagine you can sing in, in a lot of different languages. <laughs> yes, uh, as opera singers, we're often trained to, to sing in the major romance languages, uh, and, as well as German. Mm -hmm. So we sing German, English, French, and Italian, mm -hmm. uh, typically. But uh, for a, a performance like this, we will often uh, use the score from about two months or more out from the performance and really delve into the text, into the music, into mm. the rhythm, all the parts of our character and all the information that Gounod and Shakespeare have provided to us to, to really make this character come to life. Yeah. And I imagine this is one that if you haven't been to the opera before, now this this is one that you would be a really good introduction, wouldn't it? It is. Oh no, it definitely is. Because again, it's a story that you are comfortable with, no. Mm -hmm. It's a tragedy. Mm -hmm. But the other reason would be because we have Probably one of the great coloraturas, the soprano of her generation and tenors. Katie Lewick and Zach Borshevsky are the stars and they, to hear them sing, it, we are so fortunate in Toledo that we can and repeatedly bring back some of the best in the industry. And these two, you don't want to miss it. This may be... Uh, they'll be back. They'll do something else. We're already talking to them, but you ought to hear them do these roles. Yes, it's you want to do, really. you want to see Romeo and Juliet. Okay, so this is going to be at the Valentine next weekend, right? 16th Friday, and 18th. Friday, Sunday. And we have a student performance also. Oh, wonderful. That is the dress rehearsal on a Wednesday, uh, Thursday, yes. Wednesday. Wednesday night. Okay, wonderful. All right, well, you're going to perform for us this morning. What song are you going to do? What part? Set us up a little bit. I'll be singing Mercutio's aria, oh. uh, aria which is uh, the Ballad of Queen Mob, and that uh, happens right in the beginning of Act One mm -hmm. as the Montagues enter the Capulet Ball. Mm -hmm. They're not supposed to be at the Capulet Ball, and he tells this wonderful story to uh, sort of make fun of his, his friend, Rome, <laughs> 
Romeo and make fun of the fact that Romeo is just now falling in love with a woman he's only just seen. Ah, yeah. Okay, I remember this part. It's right. ridiculous. We'll let you go on over there and get set up and take it away as soon as you're ready. Mab, la reine de mensonge, préside au songe, plus légère, plus légère que le vent dit souvent. À travers l'espace, à travers la nuit, elle passe, elle fuit, elle passe, elle fuit, elle passe, elle fuit. Son char que la tombe rapide entraîne dans les tels limpides, qui fait d'une noisette vide, parvé de terre le charron. Les années subtiles dont elles ont été découpées dans l'île, de quelques vertes sauterelles, pas au coucher le moucheron. Un os de grillon, certes à ma chance enfouie, dont la mèche blanche est prise au rayon, qui s'épanche du fibre rassemblant sa cour. Chaque nuit dans cet équipage, ma visite sur son passage, les peaux qui rêvent de vivage et l'amant qui rêve d'amour. À son approche, la coquette rêve d'atours et de toilettes. Le courtisan fait la courbette, le poète rime sévère. À la voir, on son gîte sombre, elle ouvre des trésors sans nombre et la liberté rit dans l'ombre, prisonnier chargé de fer. Le soldat rêve d'embuscade, de bataille et d'estocade. Elle lui verse les rasades dans ses larissons arrosées. Et toi, qu'un soupir farouche, quand tu Pose sur ta couche, ô vierge, elle effleure ta bouche et te fait rêver de baisers. Mab, la reine des mensonges, préside au songe, plus légère, plus légère que le vent dit souvent. À travers l'espace, à travers la nuit, elle passe, elle fuit, elle passe, elle fuit, elle passe, elle fuit. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, very good. Make sure you get your tickets now. Romeo and Juliet at the Valentine, February 16th and 18th. Thank you so much. Bravo. It's Thank you for being here as well. Yes. Beautiful as always. <laughs> Stay with us. We have some more good day after this.